Iran blames the Saudis for twin ISIS attacks. ISIS has claimed responsibility for two terrorist attacks in the Iranian capital Tehran on Wednesday, in which at least 12 people died and a further 46 were injured. The attacks began at Iran's parliament at around 10.30 a.m., where four attackers disguised as women killed 11 people and wounded dozens of others. At least one attacker blew himself up on the fourth floor of the building. It took Iranian authorities several hours to kill the attackers and end the siege. At the same time as the assault on parliament, two terrorists attacked the mausoleum of Ayatollah Khomeini, where they detonated explosives at the western entrance. One victim was killed at the shrine, and both of the attackers reportedly committed suicide. Iranian officials blamed Saudi Arabia and the United States for the attacks, even though ISIS said it was responsible. Iran is a predominantly Shiite Muslim country. The Shiite faith is regarded as heretical by Sunni Muslim ISIS militants. Forces backed by Iran are at war with ISIS in Iraq and Syria. If ISIS's claims are true, this would be the group's first successful attack on Iranian soil. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more on Iran's fight against ISIS and Iranian military power. Iran Hulk wants smash ISIS! Twenty-four-year-old Sajad Garibi has been dubbed the Iranian Hulk. And yes, we don't recommend making him angry as we hear he's less likable when he's angry. This 342-pound power lifter claims to be able to lift 386 pounds, and we'll take his word for it. In early July came news Sajad is putting his growing online fame on hold to go smash ISIS. <sighs> Now he is reportedly joining the Iranian military and will fight ISIS with soldiers from Syria's Assad regime, but who cares? Persian Hercules wants to kill ISIS, and this is good. While Garibi has quite a following in Iran, he's only recently getting more international attention, with 99.9% .9 of news outlets, including the BBC, electing to go for the Hulk comparison. And, um, fair enough. Iranian Hulk doesn't appear to be a man of great stature, but man, those 25-inch arms. A proud Iranian with a strong distaste for shirts, Garibi reportedly has his eye on a professional wrestling career, which could be a good choice, as he obviously needs cash for an American-sized SUV. But for now, Iran Hulk Isis One Smasher is said to be toughening up for the fight. He's reportedly been dipping his hands in hot coals and burning sand to numb his fists so he can smash those puny Isis faces. Good hunting, Iran Hulk. Iranian F-4 fighters attack Islamic State targets in Iraq. Iranian aircraft have carried out airstrikes against Islamic State militants in eastern Iraq in recent days, the Pentagon has said. The confirmation comes after an Al Jazeera cameraman in the region filmed a jet that was later identified as an Iranian F-4. The F-4 Phantom is a twin-engine supersonic long-range jet fighter with a wingspan of 11.7 meters. The Phantom is capable of a top speed of Mach 2.2 and has nine hardpoints capable of carrying a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles and bombs. Iran purchased a total of 225 F-4s from the US during the 1960s and 70s. These planes were used to strike Islamic State targets in Diyala province in recent days. The US, which is leading a coalition of nations in the fight against the militant Islamist group, cautiously welcomed the news, saying it was Iraq's right to manage its own airspace. Iran tests high-speed torpedo. Iran seems to be making advances in their weaponry, and it's got Pentagon officials worried. On Sunday, Iran test-fired a high-speed torpedo into the Strait of Hormuz, a vital passageway for most of the world's oil. The Hooch torpedo is believed to have a sophisticated guidance system and a range of six miles. The underwater missile uses supercavitation to reach speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, four times faster than a conventional torpedo. Iran has been testing the powerful torpedo over the past decade, most recently in February of 2015. This latest exercise was most likely testing the weapon's speed, as it did not appear to be aimed at a target. 
Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Iran test fires new long-range missile. Iran state-run media reported the successful test of a new precision-guided long-range missile. The Ahmad surface-to-surface -surface missile is a variant of Iran's existing Shahab-3 long-range missile, but can be precision-guided until it reaches its target. It can carry a 750-kilogram payload and is scheduled for deployment sometime after 2016. The missile has a range of 1,700 kilometers and is accurate within 500 meters of the target. The Ahmad would be Tehran's first precision-guided missile with the range to reach its enemy, Israel. Anthony Kordsman, a researcher at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, said in a report that Tehran has been steadily working to improve its existing missile technology, which had poor accuracy and uncertain reliability. Iran's Navy Unveils Suicide Drones On October 26th, Iran's Navy released photographs of a specialized seaplane drone that can reportedly be weaponized for targeted kamikaze missions. Iran's new seaplane drone can be armed with missiles and heavy payloads of explosives to launch suicide attacks. If directed, it can collide with any target and destroy it, be it a vessel at sea or an onshore command center. Fitted with a camera that can be used at night and in damp sea conditions, the drone can operate for up to four hours straight at a maximum speed of 250 kilometers per hour. The unmanned aircraft can fly as high as 3,000 feet in the air, as low as 20 inches above the surface, and can land on water. The seaplane drone is said to have been developed primarily for maritime surveillance and is not necessarily designed to carry a missile payload. Iran conducts rocket tests near U.S. warships. The Pentagon claims Iranian naval vessels conducted rocket tests within 1,500 yards of a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier last week. Iranian naval vessels fired several unguided rockets in a live-fire exercise in the Strait of Hormuz last Saturday. The USS Harry Truman aircraft carrier, the USS Balkali destroyer, and French frigate the FS Province were in the area at the time of the rocket tests. Iranian vessels only announced the exercise 23 minutes beforehand over maritime radio. NBC News reported that the rockets were fired from a position about 1,500 yards off the USS Harry Truman aircraft carrier's starboard side and were not fired at the carrier or other ships. U.S. Central Command spokesman said Iran's actions were highly provocative, while Iranian officials did not immediately comment on the live fire exercise. Iran blows up fake U.S. carrier on state TV. Iran decided to do it big this year with their Great Profit War Games by blowing up a replica U.S. aircraft carrier. Iran's Revolutionary Guard used a mock U.S. aircraft carrier in its defense drills for the first time Wednesday. State TV showed footage of missiles being fired at the mock carrier during the Great Prophet 9 drills. The replica carrier was hit with cruise and ballistic missiles, as well as rockets fired from speedboats. The speedboats are armed with short-range cruise missiles, medium-range anti-ship missiles, large-caliber torpedoes, sea mines, heavy machine guns, rocket launchers, and shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles. Iran has conducted several war games to improve its defensive capabilities and to test modern military tactics and equipment. <laughs>